I'm Atchison Fraser, Chief Marketing Officer of Zangati. Zangati is an infrastructure performance management software provider out of Silicon Valley, and we specialize in live second-by-second -second, uh, monitoring performance analytics and uh, service assurance for your hybrid cloud data center infrastructure. Well, in the case of Zangati, what we're doing is uh, everything that we've been doing for your on-premise virtualized workloads in a virtualized uh, format, i.e. hypervisor, and we're hypervisor agnostic, we're now going to do for those same workloads that move from the customer premise out to the cloud. And uh, so, so those hybrid cloud infrastructures will include Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and in the, the situation where you're using containers on top of that infrastructure, specifically Docker, we'll treat Docker containers as a VM host as well. So, so the real benefit of that in, in the Zangati context is we provide a cross-silo um, level of intelligence for all of the functional components of the, of the environment, the virtualized layers and the physical devices, now including um, cloud components, as well as the end-user computing endpoints, the virtualized applications, virtualized desktops, as well as the uh, applications themselves. So, so we're giving you a live second-by-second second without the use of agents or probes, by the way, all protocol or API-based. So, so in the cloud context, we can expand as you expand your cloud presence. Even in a, in a virtual private cloud on-premise, you have multi-tiers on top of a converged infrastructure. So, so number one is you're never quite sure who you're sharing resources with. So, um, you know, whether it's a case of BYLD, you know, you know, bring your own device, or whether it's um, uh, rogue IT, where um, lines of business are running applications in that data center, you want to make sure that you're provisioning that mission critical workload with the, the greatest performance metrics possible. That's where the service assurance analytics angle for Zangati comes in. We, um, once you start running our software, we can actually begin to predict optimal performance. Um, number one, by solving root cause analysis. So the first thing we do is we pinpoint any contention storms or device contentions or any kind of suboptimal um, uh, infrastructure configuration that you might have and then we give you very prescriptive remedial actions on how to diagnose that immediately. Then as you run our system there's some machine learning capability, some heuristics capability, and very powerful algorithms that determine three weeks from now what might be a bottleneck and what to do about it. As we move forward what we're building into the platform is is not just the prescriptive remedial actions, but we're going to automate that for you as well. So you'll, you'll, set, you'll set your thresholds. There's a dynamic threshold um, kind of concept within the software. You'll set those thresholds that, that meet you know, your business outcomes that you're trying to achieve, and then Zangati will be able to move uh, virtual machines around, um, uh, determine uh, the optimal cloud, uh, mix versus the on-premise mix. All of that will be, be um, sitting in an orchestration layer, uh, if you will. So if you're a ServiceNow customer, for example, you'll be able to manage your infrastructure performance along with all of your other operational um, uh, functions that you manage through ServiceNow. Um, uh, Counterintuitively, no, because part of what we're doing is we're, we're helping the data center manager, the, infrastructure, the virtual infrastructure admin, if you will, the cloud infrastructure admin, DevOps professional. What we're doing for them is empowering them with this cross-silo intelligence. In, in the traditional world, you really don't know where the degradation is. So, so if you're in that hot seat and an end user complains about not being able to get to their desktop or their application, you might point the finger at the um, application provider, whether that's Zen Apps and Desktop from Citrix or Horizon from VMware. Uh, often it's not uh, related to that. It's related to, let's say, storage IOPS latency. We give you that kind of granularity and you don't even have to be a storage expert. We're now going to populate that in a specific storage-centric view 
for you as the virtual infrastructure admin. So in, in a sense, we're actually making, making the data center manager's job more strategic in the sense that now, now you are not, you're not in a reactive mode, you're in a uh, proactive if not preventive mode. Um, the other one is, quite frankly, uh, without the visibility that Zangati provides, a, a lot of uh, people are just over provisioning their hardware without really knowing whether their current resources are efficient or not for the, for the workloads that they're deploying. The flip side of Zangati is we give you an IT resource efficiency index. So after we optimize your environment long term, we're helping you right size your investments. So now you become a profit center. And believe me, <laughs> I'm a networking guy, I can tell you, when you, you're no longer just plumbing, you're more of a profit center and you can identify business outcomes to the virtualization or the cloud migration strategy that you're proposing and adopting, then you have more job security. That's the promise, right? But even today, if you look at uh, data from uh, VMware, um, the original concept of virtualization was, let's say, um, for, for every VM there, uh, were 15 servers and eventually I could get that down to eight servers. The reality is uh, less than 30% of that server consolidation has happened. Why? Because there's never really been any, been any kind of deep insight and I'm talking about you know 300 times the granularity that you would see in a traditional performance monitoring solution. We have an in-memory architecture that allows us to scale to hundreds of thousands of objects that we're not only collating and correlating in real time, but we're also crunching that data in real time and giving you this predictive analytics uh, capability. So um, uh, long, long term, it's, it's about uh, performance optimization for virtual workloads, whether those are sitting on-premise or, or bursting out to the cloud, and it's about right-sizing your um, IT investments so that you, you can actually now measure your ROI much more distinctly than you were um, able to do before. Well, that's where the predictive analytics come into play. So, so the, the next generation of Zangati is Zangati ESP for cloud infrastructure and cloud workspace. So, so there's one common platform architecture. It deploys as a uh, open virtual file in your hypervisor of choice, whether that's Microsoft Azure, VMware vSphere, or a, a Citrix Zen server. And um, uh, the ESP branding comes into play because you know, we can predict what's going to happen before it happens so that you avoid any kind of uh, bottlenecks. And, and, and even to a certain degree with a dynamic threshold and the, the machine learning kicks in, you're now starting to see predictive analytics where you never even have to worry about troubleshooting. Um, so, so we're launching within that ESP platform. Um, you know, Zangati is all about data sources. We ingest data from a number of different sources that gives you that cross-silo intelligence. Um, uh, we're, we're adding, uh, on the compute side, we're adding um, Azure Cloud for Microsoft, AWS, Amazon Cloud, and uh, the Docker flavor of containerization. We're, on the storage side, we're adding uh, deeper visibility into EMC, VNX, if that happens to be an environment. We also provide that for, for the NetApp uh, environment as well. We're adding an anomaly index. So we can, we can now, we're not just capturing performance data, we're capturing pattern anomalies that can imply a potential risk or, or a vulnerability for something like a DDoS attack. Um, you know, if, if we spot an extreme bit rate in a particular work group or a specific user, then we can alert the admin to that. The great thing about the Zangati solution is we, we overlay all of our data correlation with a, a storm tracker utility. What that utility does is it actually clusters together all of the alert. You might have 100 alert, alerts behind one bit rate uh, uh, abnormality and we can cluster those alerts together into one top level domain we give you the prescriptive uh, action step to take to solve that one top-level domain, the rest of the hundred go away. 
So we're saving a lot of time, we're giving you productivity, and we're tying that kind of solution to some service assurance level, whether that's um, uh, keeping your business up and running, uptime availability, um, or whether that's the end user quality of experience. Traditionally, we've targeted high-end enterprise and large public sector. Uh, here in the UK, National Health Service is one of our largest customers. Hosted virtual desktop is, is a growing market. So, so the, the next area of growth for Zangati where we think we can achieve even greater scale is targeting the managed service provider or the cloud hosting provider who sits in between on-premise uh, data center and, and cloud provision. Uh, cloud service uh, uh, brokerage could, could be another possibility. Um, because it's all about you know, optimal performance for, for multiple clouds. And the more complexity you add to the infrastructure, the harder it is to determine where you might have degrading conditions, and that's where Zangati comes into play. So um, those cloud hosting providers and IBM SoftLayer as an example, uh, Exponential E, which is, which is uh, uh, one of our pilot uh, uh, deployments here in the UK, they're offering hosted services, whether that's virtual desktop, data as a service, Zangati as a service, you know, monitoring as a service could be uh, potentially um, something that we pursue. Um, we think, you know, if you look at the number of um, applications that are moving to the cloud, uh, microservices in the case of Docker. Docker is a huge trend that we're, we're looking to capture. So um, um, we're, we're looking as that for that as our next growth category, we're adding additional uh, cloud visibility uh, in future platforms as well. We're looking at Google Cloud as an option, IBM SoftLayer and others.